What's up guys, my name is Bravo, and welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet Wi-Fi battle. I'm going to be using the same team that I have used in the last Wi-Fi battle, which featured King Gambit with Life Orb. Now, this Pokemon is just extremely crazy, and I'm actually looking forward to using this team again. I had a lot of fun using this team before, and it's just pretty much hyper-offensive, that I would say. So, looking at my opponent's team, I know I just dived right into a Wi-Fi battle, but... We're going to have to get this going. So, looking at my opponent's team, they do have Garganical. They have Drift Blim. I haven't seen that Pokemon in a while. Umbreon, Volcarona, Glamora, and Mousehold. Now, I, most of all, I'm definitely going to have to watch out for Mousehold in general. That Pokemon is actually really dangerous. So, we're going to have to keep a good eye on that. For now, though, I'm going to start off with Great Tusk. I think Great Tusk could be a good lead here for potential Stealth Rock. Because I do see Glamora and Garganical capable of doing stuff like that. So, yeah. Hopefully, we can get a good lead in. And hopefully, it works in our favor. Before I say more, I think I want to thank you guys so much for helping me reach 600 subscribers on this channel. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Thank you so much for watching my shorts. And I have a lot more videos to come out in the future. I really cannot wait for what I have in store. And, yeah. Let's dive right into this. So... I kind of don't like this right now. They started off with a Drift Blim. I could always go for a knockoff, though. It's honestly unfortunate because knockoff is like the only good move I have against it. Okay, so they had a Citrus Berry. Oh, no, I don't like that. Are you serious? No, come on, don't do this. Don't do that. Oh my gosh, they're doing it. Why that? Just, just why? That's how we're going to start off? This is, how, this, is, this is how we're going to start off? Okay. They're going to start off with a baton pass and minimize. Who are they switching into? What is my opponent switching into? I need to know. <laughs> and yes, I do have this battle preceded to level 50 because... I did, I did like a voting poll, and I read my comments about some people wanted level 100, some people just wanted me to stay at level 50, so I decided to compromise on that and just do whatever I can, so the teams I'll be making will be level 100 Pokemon, and it'll work both ways, like if the opponent wants to choose level 100, I'll have level 100 Pokemon ready, if not, I'll just stick to level 50. So, could this thing go down? Yes, it does, perfect. Oh my gosh, that's actually really helpful. That really helped out. Okay, so now okay, now we're good here. Cause Baton Pass, I don't have to worry about minimize no more. And Drift Blim is at low HP. So I have something for that. He brings it out. Okay, so I can just go for knockoff again. Take out the Drift Blim. Now we're now we're at a good spot here. I took down two Pokemon that could be a potential nuisance, but now I'm more worried about the Mousehold still being alive. I need to get rid of that thing as quickly as quickly as possible. If not, we're really going to be in a problem. But no, they actually bring in Glamora. Okay, so Glamora does not have Air Balloon, so I should be good here to go for a Headlong Rush. They do have Focus Sash, that's fine. That is honestly really fine. Because if they set up, I can just do rapid spin and I get a speed increase. Mortal spin. Okay, so I'm going to be poisoned. That's unfortunate. But that's still good because I can still go for a rapid spin. I think I only got rid of their... Okay, so Drift Bloom was the only ghost type. So I can just freely go for a rapid spin. No way, they have Spiky Shield? Glamour has Spiky Shield? It's crazy how this game came out two months ago, and I'm still learning more about these Pokemon. I honestly never knew Glamour could learn that. Okay, that's actually going to be a problem. <clears throat> but I'm still going to take out the... Glamoura. I don't know why I almost forgot his name. 
So now I'm at I'm kind of in a pickle here. I need to get rid of whatever Pokemon's coming out. So if it's Volcarona, I could definitely be able to handle it. And I do have Champout in the back with Ice Shard and Saga Punch, so I should be good here. Okay, so Volcarona is coming out. I can go for a Headlong Rush. Just for the damage. And I that just one shot it. Wow. Yo, are we getting a great tusk sweep? Sweep? Are we? I don't know. I don't know about you guys, but it looks like it's probably gonna happen before it ends up dying. Alright. See us. I'm at a minus three, so I'm definitely going to be dying soon. But I guess I could just go for Headlong Rush. Like, it's funny how Headlong Rush is literally just a ground-type version of Close Combat. So it doesn't even matter. I'm still just going to go for it. And it was a crit? I honestly don't know if that crit mattered, but okay. I think we're actually going to get a sweep here. That's how we're gonna start off the match. That's how we're gonna start our first match. Wow. Okay. And Mousehold is the last Pokemon. So now we can just go for a close combat. Do you? No, he doesn't. Yo, <laughs> Great Tusk is so powerful. Oh my gosh, that was a Great Tusk sweep. Wow. I honestly didn't even get to do much. That's the crazy part. So what a way to start off the first round. So I'm going to go find my next opponent, and I'll see you guys in the next match. If you guys made it this far into the video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Alright, welcome back everybody for our second match. And this match is actually going to be interesting. Looking at my opponents here, they do have Palafin. That's the first Pokemon I see, and I already know that Pokemon's going to be annoying to deal with. They have Palafin, they have Scizor, Meowskarada. Gengar, they have a lot of dark types in their team. I don't know. I don't know about that. That's kind of off. That really, there's something off about that. Anyway, I think I don't see any Pokemon that can set up except for Meowskarada and Murkrow. Murkrow. Wow, how did I mess that up? I'm gonna bring in Iron Valiant. I think I'm gonna start off with this Pokemon first. Great Tusk did an amazing job. <laughs> with the with the sweep, so I want to I want to let Iron Valley get a turn. Not only that, I want every other Pokemon in this team to shine, so I want them to get their chance. I don't think I've used Iron Valiant much in the other Wi-Fi battle, so hopefully I can do a lot more in this one. All right, so my opponent is gonna start off with Murkrow. I don't know if I have the. I oh my gosh, I didn't even notice I had the. It's down that low. Anyway, so they start off with Murkrow. I get my speed increase. I think the best option is to go for a Moonblast here. They're going for Tailwind. Okay. This thing, I think this. I think it has either Evil Light or probably Focus Sash. Yep, it has Focus Sash. So, with that, I could probably do another move. Just for just for a read, I can't do that. That's not gonna do much. I could probably go for, hmm. Because if I do, if I do Moonblast, they'll probably bring in Scizor or Gengar to tank it. So I'll just go for a Shadow Ball. They go for Haze. Okay. Would the haze even matter for the booster energy? Cause when you, I that cause that's one thing I do want to know. Like if you use booster energy on a paradox Pokemon, 
would it actually have like the stat increase on the thing? Because I don't think it did that for Great Tusk. I didn't see anything about that. Okay, so they do have Scizor. One thing I don't want, that's one of the Pokemon I don't want to deal with. But we have no other choice, so we're going to have to do as much as we can here. No, I don't want to terrestrialize. Hmm. Let's go for a Focus Blast. I want to do as much damage. Because if Iron Valiant does die to this thing, I can just bring in my... I can just bring in Chan Pound and just go for the kill. Or better yet, I can even go to Full Zone and just Aqua Jet. So Bullet Punch is gonna probably yep is gonna get yep is gonna get the kill. That's fine. And Tailwind is gone, so that's even better. That is actually even better. That is really better. So I'm just gonna go for Fossil for Revenge Kill. I don't see any other Pokemon I can tank other than Meowskarada, but let's see if he's willing to. By the way, this Fossil is Choice Band as well, so it's definitely going to guarantee get the Revenge Kill. So let's see what happens. <clears throat> There's multiple situations here that they can do. So yeah, they do stay in. Scizor is down. So I don't have to worry about Bullet Punch being annoying. But yeah, Iron Valiant picking up that Focus Boss actually helped out. Because I don't know what would have happened if it didn't. They do bring in Palafin. So I think it's my time to switch. Probably into Noivern. Cause I know they're gonna go for a flip turn. They're gonna they're gonna flip turn into a Pokemon. I'm not not sure who. So let's bring in Noivern. They're gonna go for a flip turn right now. I eat that up very well. Like, if I play my cards right, I don't think I'll be needing King Gambit for this fight. But just in case, I do want to keep King Gambit as my last Pokemon at all times. So I can be able to pick up any of the kills I need to get. So let's see what happens. So they're bringing in Miascarada. They're going to go for a play rough. <laughs> it's, it's so obvious... It's so obvious. They have play rough on that thing. Oh, knockoff. You went for a knockoff? Wow. That actually... Okay, that actually kind of crippled me there. Now I can't... I wasn't able to pick up the kill because of that. Okay. Okay, okay. So... If that's the case... I don't know. Go for great tough. It's kind of risky. It's, it's, it's risky. So they're going to go for knockoff again. But I tank. Let's go. Okay, Meow Scarada is, done, is gone. Is gone. We are good here. And that was a stab knockoff too. Alright, so yep. It's coming out. <laughs> Palafin comes out. And I did have Terra Blast. I had my Noivern as Terra Rock to deal with like Ice types, but it doesn't look like I need it. So yeah, I could just, I don't know, probably go for a Dragon Pulse just with Stab. Alright. They go for Flip Turn again. What are they planning? Let me see what he's gonna bring in. Hopefully it's a Pokemon. I s Hopefully it works in my favor. What you? Okay, Gengar. Gengar. All right. 
And that's a shiny? I'm sorry, that doesn't look shiny to me. Alright, so Chien Pao is actually the best option here. And Sword of Ruin helps out with weakening the defenses of these Pokemon. So I will be good here. I'm just going to click Ice Spinner and just be about my business. Best part about it, there's no switches to Chien Pao either. Palafin is not going to resist. It's not, it's not resisting an Ice Spinner from Chien Pao. So I'm actually safe. It's like I'm literally safely allowed to just click Ice Spinner. Unless this Gengar has something up its sleeve. Nope. Okay, so that's another win. Let me not let me not jinx it. I feel like something could happen here. Something can actually happen here, so let me not do much. I'm just gonna click Ice Spinner. That's what I that's what I get for talking. <laughs> that's what I get for talking. It resisted! It resisted the it resisted the ice spinner. That's what I get. That's fine. That is fine. That is perfectly fine. Because I'm just going to switch into Fossil. Just do Aqua Jet. And their last Pokemon is the Hydreigon. I have nothing much for here. I don't know. It's kind of risky. It is extreme. It is extremely risky. I could outspeed the Hydreigon. But I'm locked in. But I'm locked into Aqua Jet. I don't want to bring in. Hmm. Maybe let's try something. I, I'm I'm not gonna switch in. Instead, what I'm going to do is okay. Never mind. <laughs> wow. Okay, so it's Life Orb. It is a Life Orb. All right, Great Tusk. Is your you you have to avenge most of these Pokemon that just died. Is definitely gonna pick up the kill. So let's just go for a close combat. He's probably gonna terrestrialize. I just don't know what type. It's crazy because I've heard a lot of stuff about terrestrializing Pokemon, how people want that banned. Cause like people doesn't know what Pokemon the type is gonna change into and like it could probably be the same type and do a lot of damage. I don't understand that. That's like oh no. Wait, okay. Wait, this might actually work in my favor here. Hold on. This might actually work. Supreme Overlord, let's go. This is actually going to work in my favor here. I'm going to terrestrialize just in case it has, I don't know, probably earth power. Or should I just do Iron Head just for stab? I'm not sure. You know what? You have minus two, and King Game is powerful, so I'll take that risk. And. Ooh. Yep, you're dead. <laughs> And that, and that was it. GG's to my opponent. That was actually really crazy. I was holding my breath for that one. But yeah, this is going to be the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed two Wi-Fi battles. I would do three. Honestly, I would love to do three Wi-Fi battles in one video. The thing is, it's just really hard to find opponents nowadays in this game. It's, it's crazy. But yeah, that was two videos. The next video of the Wi-Fi battle, I will be... Okay, that was quick. 
Next Wi-Fi battle, I'll be have running a different team. I'll probably have a voting poll or whatever Pokemon you guys like to see next. I have a lot of Pokemon I like to try out. So yeah, that's going to be the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, leave a like, comment, subscribe. It is always appreciated. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, everybody.